Greetings, unsettled souls, and welcome to The Correct Views. Sam I.B. reporting for The Media Speaks. It is that time again, the Dunce Cap of the Month Award. This month's award winner is the Omaha, Nebraska Police Department. Yep, friends, I am sending this, this well, this beautiful dunce cap, which I will show you in greater detail in just a moment. I am sending this dunce cap to the Omaha Police Department. I'm going to have to read a little bit of this in order for you to understand exactly why they got it. And before I get comments that say that I don't stick up for police, you're wrong. Um, do I believe that uh, police are overreaching in many, many areas of our life? Yes, I do. I believe it completely, and I will stand by that. However, um, there was a, an incident that comes to mind where there was a hostage situation, and the officer accidentally shot, I think he was a 17-year-old uh, hostage that had escaped. <clears throat> but when he ran outside, the officer thought that he was the hostage taker and killed him. I stuck up for that officer, by the way, so uh, I do not always go after police. But you will see why this is the Dust Cap of the Month Award. Alan Salazar, March 27th, 2013. Cell phone footage showcasing various misdeeds presented by the Omaha, Nebraska Police Department brought to light a number of questionable actions that took place during an arrest earlier this month. The video, it says, filmed by Villa, Villa, Vigilant Neighbor and posted on YouTube last week, captures cars in the middle of being towed and shows one officer put his arm around a man's neck, slam him to the street, and then punch him repeatedly before another officer joins him. Moments later, it goes on, another man observed filming from the road gets chased into his home by an officer, followed by at least nine more police officers. They all had search warrants in hand, right? Would they be getting the dun? No, they would not be getting the dunce cap of the award if they had. Um, KETV News identifies the man seen taken down by as 28-year-old Octavius Johnson. According to the video's YouTube description, the two males are seeing why the vehicles are being towed as they apparently belonged to their family. KETV reports that Octavius was told to leave was told to leave by officers, and in the video he can be seen doing just that. But police say he was argumentative and resisted arrest. Yes, and I can say that the moon is made out of green cheese, the prize gourmet treat of the rat people, indigenous. He recounted his version of the encounter to KT, KPTM, stating, He went around my neck, threw me on the ground, choked me out to the point where I couldn't breathe or speak. The officer told me to stop resisting, punched me in the face, and said, Do you want to die today? I went to the MMA fight last Friday, and there was nobody this disrespectful. The man filming the incident close up, reportedly Octavius' brother, Juarez Johnson, in the video he can be heard shouting, that's abuse, and get your knee off of his neck. Police later said they arrested him because they had warned him to stay off the street. Oh, don't be a diligent, uh, diligent film hour. No, 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 let, let them get away with anything they want. I'm going to read some more of this because it, it, it gets worse. It, it gets much worse. Police are next seen ludicrously chasing Jacques into his home where his brother and aunt were. The men's brother, Demetrius, who was inside the house when the incident took place, was also arrested after he re reportedly attempted to block police from reaching Jacques. Their aunt, Sharon Johnson, says police knocked her out of the wheelchair, after which she needed to be hospitalized. In total, 12 police cars can be counted at the scene, sirens ablazing. According to the family, police also towed four cars that day, one just for being parked in the wrong direction. God forbid the police would leave your damn car alone. Maybe he's just ducked in there for a second. Ridiculous! You are there to protect and to serve, not to harass somebody who's facing the wrong direction for 30 seconds. In response to outrage over the hidden video, which at the time of this writing has been viewed 219,000 times, an internet investigation has been, an internal investigation has been launched. My girlfriend has the worst font ever. 
Omaha Police Chief Todd Schmaderer at a press conference Saturday stated, I will get to the bottom of this. I will discover what has transpired at 33rd and Seward and its entirety, and I will address it properly. I expect professional behavior and accountability from my officers at all times as they knock people out of wheelchairs. Omaha City Councilman Ben Gray said that he was appalled at what the video showed and stated that, that the man seen pursued him into his home by officers is the most upsetting part of the video. I have serious concerns, it says, not only about the police officer that flipped the individual, flipped on the individual and punched him in the face several times, but I have serious concerns, it says, about officers who are chasing citizens off of the street who are simply doing what they were supposed to do. Very good. Way to go, Councilman Ben Gray. The family says they will file a complaint against the police department. Meanwhile, one officer involved in the incident has been placed on administrative leave. While a thorough investigation could be lengthy, evidence needed to corroborate either the police version of events or Johnson shouldn't be hard to obtain. In addition, the damning video, most officers are equipped with lapel mics and some even carry lapel video cameras. However, if not for the watchful neighbors village filming, we can expect the incident would have been gone under the, under, pushed under the radar and gone unreported. Just so we're clear, filming the police, it says, is perfectly legal as upheld by the First Circuit Court of Appeals and more recent Supreme, U.S. Supreme Court ruling. The cop tried to destroy the footage and didn't know that somebody in another house was filming it. So, here it is. This month, Dunce Cap of the Month Award, and here is what it says. The Dunce Cap of the Month Award, this month's Dunce Cap of the Month Award, is proudly being given to you at the Omaha, Nebraska Police Department for bravely, I wrote, knocking a disabled person out of a wheelchair while at the same time protecting society from the effects of parking infractions. May you think of what it means to need a search warrant every time that you gaze proudly upon this award. May you know that society can and will film you, and may you know that in the event that you do attempt to abuse your authority by trying to destroy the footage that you may want to make sure that more than one person is not filming it, as seemed to have occurred this month. Thanks, thanks so much for making everyone just a little bit more disgusted by the overreaching arm of authority and for perhaps being in the news enough to awaken those who may have watched to show how far our nation has fallen. YouTube.com slash the correct views, keyword Omaha Dunce. Way to go, Omaha, Nebraska's Police Department. You are the proud recipient of this month's Dunce Cap of the Month Award. Good night, God bless, and thanks for listening.